Stephanie Powers as identical twins who secretly trade places. A harmless fantasy that in one instant turns into a terrifying web of deception. But I see one of them will be the target of a murderer, and the other will be tracked in a deadly struggle on London's Tower Bridge, based on the thrilling bestseller, Deception the Life. Mmm, turkey. Wouldn't it be nice if you could make it other ways, like in a casserole? Or barbecue? Or broil? Well, now you can, with Turkey Pot. Fresh from the Shady Brook Farm. Juicy, tender drumsticks, thighs, cutlets, that you can cook up dozens of different ways. Now you can have turkey any way you like it, with Turkey Pot. Fresh from the Shady Brook Farm. It's about time. In the beginning, there was fruit, and to the fruit, they added sugar, corn sweeteners, preservatives, and yet more sugar, and there you are. They say preserves right on the jar, but we the people at Star Wit took away all the refined sugar and preservatives and added fruit juice. That's six times the fruit by far. See, we say fruit only right on our jar. Sorrow Ridge Conserve. Get the fruit and nothing but the fruit. I went once a month, then once a week. I even talked my girlfriends into going. I can't stop. I've tried. I just always find myself there. <laughs> even my husband's hooked. I always like myself the day after. I could take her off. Really, I could. But who wants to? Once you pay Annie Says prices for designer clothes, why go anyplace else? Annie Says. It's not just a store. It's an obsession. Justice for battered women on News 4 New York at 6. Does Norm Crosby lift his mug up to drink coffee? <laughs> then Thelma Hopkins has an elusive age. Will she go out with him again? Can Jeff Altman travel viable or would he rather take a car? We'll find out the answer to these questions and a lot more as we play television's funny issue game show, Word Play. And here's the star of Wordplay, that's not many words, Tom Kennedy! Hello there. Welcome, Good to see you all. Thank you very much. Thank you. Welcome. You soon have met our stars, Jeff Altman down there. How are you doing? How are Jeff? you? Good to see you. Nice Welcome to be aboard. Thank you. Thomas Hopkins is here to our you? show, too. Good, Good to, to have here. you with us, but we have our professor back, Norm Crosby. Good to see you back, old buddy. Everything all right? Everything uh, very well. That's good. Let's go over now and meet our players and get this show on the road. Our returning champ is Gordon Taylor. Hi, Tom. He's from Seattle. This is his second day on the show. He has won so far $8,475 of program. I love you, plays the game. And me, yes. We introduce yourself, would you, Gordon? I'm a bus driver, Tom. I'm a former writer, but then I encountered reality when I got married, and so I became a bus driver. There you go. All right. <laughs> we welcome you back. And now here's your new opponent, Caroline Desario. Tell yeah. us about Caroline. Well, I live up the coast in beautiful Ventura, California, with my husband Douglas and our rambunctious puppy, Nikita, and we're expecting our first baby in August. Oh, congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Welcome aboard, Carolyn. Let's play our game. We play our game with nine words that all found in Webster's third new international dictionary, and today's words are elucidate, rundle, prelect, viable, mug up, donkey work, comparison, petard, and principate. And we'll be finding out the definitions of six of those words. And whoever's ahead at the end of that will have a chance at our double definition round, which today is worth $5,000. And don't forget that one of these words is a bonus word. And with that word, one of our players can win a trip to Puerto Vallarta. Let's show our home audience today's bonus word. They've done that. Gordon, you're our returning champ. Which word would you like first? Tom, let's take viable. Viable, you have it. And for that, we go over to Mr. Norm Crosby. Viable, Norm. Viable. Viable means capable of living and growing. Like, for example, the ingredients in yogurt. There's mm -hmm. a standard joke around town, like, what is the difference between yogurt and Los Angeles? Do you know? No. You know? No, no. Yogurt has culture. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Capable of living and growing. Well. 
very keen observation there. Thank you, sir. Tell me. Viable. Viable. Viable is an uncontrolled uh, uncontrollable giggle. <laughs> this happens when someone either holds you down and tickles you, or when you hear that what Charles really wants to do is direct. <laughs> So that's it. That's it. Huh? An uncontrollable giggle. I see. Okay. All right, Jeff. It's up to you. What What does it really mean? Well, then? viable means capable of stretching. I have pants that are imported from all over the world. My hmm. favorite are from Paris and come with an elastic waist. My dad's favorite could stretch up to his chin. How many have a dad that wears his pants like this? Well, I you. <laughs> <laughs> So, in conclusion, yes, of course, you say it is uh, capable of stretching. Yes. All right. Gordon, viable is the word and does it mean capable of living, growing, or does it mean uncontrollable giggle, or does it mean capable of stretching? What do you think, Gordon? I think Norm's got it. I think it's capable of living and uh, growing. Gee, did Norm start us off right? Did he give us the right definition? He did. There we go. Good going, Gordon. Behind that is $50, and that goes on your scoreboard. Now we're over to Caroline. Which word next, Caroline? I'll take Rundle. Rundle, she says. R-U-N-D-L-E, and that's for T-E-L-M-A. Rundle, Tom. A Rundle. A Rundle is a step on a ladder. Now, did you know that Motown is coming out with a rap song about Rapunzel and her stepsister, Rapunzel? Yes, honey. Oh. Long hair, red lips, eyes are green, short hair, bad skin, temper mean. One's real thin and one's much fatter. Rapunzel's the former, Rapunzel's the latter. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Oh, the lady knows what she's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, <laughs> well, a, a rundle, a rundle is actually, and we've all been to these, an office party. Uh, the chance to use some of your best lines at rundles, like when I walk up to a girl and tell her that guys prefer blondes, she'll say maybe, well, I'm not really a blonde. That's okay. I say, I'm not really a guy. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 here we go. So, it means office party. Yet one more shot of this, Caroline. Rundle, Norm. Rundle is not what they say is rundle. Oh. Rundle is a, it's a letter in the alphabet. Hmm. Now, a lot of people don't know there are 50,000 letters in Chinese alphabet. That explains why there are very few kidnappings in China. Because it takes too long to take together the rest of them. <laughs> it's a letter in the alphabet. And I say this to a stagnant lady. <laughs> All right, your stagnancy. Does Rundle mean letter in an alphabet? Does Rundle mean step on a ladder, or does it mean office party? Oh, boy. Um, I'm going to go with letter in an alphabet. You are? <laughs> All right. Is it letter in an alphabet? Rundle? No, that's not what Rundle means. That's a break for you, Gordon. You can pick up the money here. Does Rundle mean step on a ladder or office party? Rundle. I'm going to go with step on a ladder. You are. Step on a ladder is a Rundle. Is that right? Yes, it is right. And behind Rundle, we see it is worth $75, and we add that to your score for a total of $125, and that takes care of round two. The score is 125 to zero, but the game isn't over with yet. We are that round one, is what I meant to say. Round two, we're going to raise those dollar amounts, and we'll be right back with round two after this for you. this rice dish before. Remember? The four columns in in Vermont? Great dinner. Get the taste you'll remember with country in brand rice dishes from Uncle Ben. That rice dish we had. Rocky rice for broccoli. What are you going to ask about it? Remember? Long grain rice, broccoli, three cheeses. You finally got the recipe. No, I just discovered country in broccoli rice for broccoli from Uncle Ben. Country in brand rice dishes. Inspired by the finest inns across America. Introducing the Black & Decker Dustbuster Power Brush. 
It's so powerful, it controls everything that's hard to clean around your house. Southern Cat Air. A full tree. Even tricky carpet and steel. Now you don't need the big back for every green job, because this dustbuster has two motors and a deep green brush. In fact, it's so powerful, there's no excuse for missing a spot. On an average day, your kids can travel miles. On wheels, on hands, through water, even in the air. Mom, we're thirsty. Thirsty for more than soda or fruit drinks. They need thirst aid. Gatorade. Gatorade is thirst aid. An active child loses fluids and minerals. Gatorade thirst sensor helps put them back fast. And it's low in sugar. By air, sea, land, or hands. Gatorade is thirst aid. For kids, kids, and body thirst. This is round two. We have raised the dollar amounts up there, and I hasten to uh, amend what I said earlier. The trip that you're going for, Gordon and Caroline, is a trip to Acapulco. So we continue our game. We go back to Gordon for the next pick the word. Okay, Tom, I will take elucidate. Elucidate. And with that, you can increase your earnings because it's connected to a dollar amount up there. You could win both of those. All right, Jeff, tell him about elucidate, would you? <coughs> elucidate is real easy because it means to dedicate one's life. I recently met, met a man who dedicated his life to the study of rivers. And after 25 years of research, he said, you got some dry shoes? <laughs> <laughs> and in conclusion, oh, yes, it means to dedicate one's life. Thank you very much. Sorry. Okay, Norm, elucidate. Elucidate, yes. Elucidate means to punish. Uh -huh. I know a man who had a dog that misbehaved, and he wanted to elucidate his dog. So he took a plane and flew to China, took a train to India, took a ship to Rangoon, and a helicopter to Burma and flew over the Burmalese jungle, the most dense part of the jungle he could find, he dropped the dog. And would you believe, Tom, that 14 days later, that dog was back at his front door, but they can't find the guy. <laughs> <laughs> to punish! Oh, my and goodness. To punish! Punish! They even went over the Burmalese jungle. Oh, yeah. boy, they really got around. Tom, uh, elucidated. Elucidate. Elucidate means to make clear. You know, the other day, I wondered what I was going to do. You know, I looked around, and I saw the clothes needed ironing, and, and the dishes needed washing, and the floor needed mopping. And suddenly, you know, the day's activities became perfectly clear. So I went out and bought me some new shoes, honey. Yeah. 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 I see. Well, that's clear it up. Well, Gordon, the word is elucidate, connected to $75 up there. You can increase your earnings uh, nicely with this word. Does it mean punish? Does elucidate mean make clear? Or does it mean dedicate one's life? Uh, Talma has made it very clear that uh, he is right, and I think that's the one. Is that right for elucidate? It is. You got it, Gordon. Behind that is $50. That is connected to $75. So we had $125 in your store for a total of $250. Now we're back to Caroline. I'll take mug up. Mug up. And that's connected to three of the dollar amounts. Okay, Norm, mug up is the word. Mug up. Oh, mug up. Mug up means, Caroline, to make messy. When you mug up something, you make messy. Messy. Blech. When I first came out here to Hollywood to choose, I used to, I didn't have too much funds because I was working steady, and uh, <laughs> I used to eat in this really sleazy restaurant with mug up and terrible mm. and sounds me. I ordered eggs one morning, and I said to the waitress, bring me some scrambled eggs and some kind words. And she brought me the eggs on a dirty plate, and I said, where are the kind words? She said, don't eat the eggs. <laughs> it means to make it messy. Okay. Make messy. Gotcha. Tell me. A mug up. A mug up is a snack between meals. You know, I just love mug ups, especially when I'm watching sitcoms. Matter of fact, you know, I don't know which I like better. The ding dongs I'm eating or the ding dongs I'm watching. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. So it is a snack between meals. Between meals. Yeah. 
And that comes from one of the stars of Give Me a Break. <laughs> Hi, Jeff. Okay. Um, I use this word a lot myself. A mug up is an autobiography. And funny enough, I just read the autobiography of Richard Nixon. What a fascinating guy. I'm so lonely right now, I can eat the tail lights off a dump truck. <laughs> mug up is an autobiography. I see. Very good, there, Jeff. You have a rather forlorn look there, Caroline. <laughs> the word is mug up. Does it mean make messy? Does it mean snack between meals? Or autobiography? Mug up. I think mug up means to make messy. You do. Norm, did he give us the right definition? No, he didn't. Another break for Gordon. Back to him we go for mug up. Does it mean snack between meals or does it mean autobiography? I'm just as perplexed as Caroline. Uh -huh. uh, I will take... I'll take autobiography. <laughs> With his hands up in the air. Is it autobiography? No, it isn't. It's a snack between meals. And that results in a block up on the board. And that takes... It. Listen, 250 for Gordon. Zero for Caroline. But we have round three coming up. And we still have that trip off the pool pole. Lots can happen in round three after this. A classic romance. <laughs> Get out of here! A classic beauty. I don't have any clothes on. You want to tell me about it? You're too young. A classic profile. Laughs and the world laughs with you. Sneeze and it's goodbye Seattle. Lee Martin. I want to look like Diana Ross. Daryl Hannah. I think it's a million. What an idea! Roxanne. It's Jersey. Lady DG. Advanced preview. Friday and Saturday nights at Dallas Theaters. So. Having another fun weekend at home? Why not leave it all behind and let Marriott people show you what a weekend can really be? It's our two-for-breakfast weekend, and depending on location, our rates start as low as $59 per night, not per person. Of course, a hearty breakfast or two is included. Now, isn't this a better way to spend a weekend? Marriott's two-for-breakfast weekend. Call 1-800-USA-WKMD. The simple way to get the calcium you need has always been the natural way, from dairy food. Three servings from a variety of dairy foods can give an adult the 800 milligrams of calcium you need every day. Natural calcium. What could be simpler than that? Dairy calcium. Calcium the way nature intended. Welcome to the bathroom of the future. The sink is self-cleaning. The shower is self-cleaning. And thanks to a simple little tablet called Blue, most unusual spelling, the toilet is also self-cleaning. With just one cup, Blue, most unusual spelling, cleans and deodorizes the bowl for up to six weeks, six weeks, six weeks. And blue dissolves completely. No mess for humans to remove. Yes, I have seen the future, and it is Blue, also unusual. Blue comes in clean. Back to round three, we have raised the dollar amount. We still have a trip to Acapulco up there. We go back to our camp. Gordon, for the next word. I'll have to take donkey work. Huh? Donkey work. Yes, sir. Connected to two of the dollar amounts up there. Donkey work. For that, we go over to Tom Hopkins. Donkey work. A donkey work is a two-headed ice axe, as opposed to a two-faced ice axe that says it's going to help you chop ice and then runs off with your best friend. Oh, oh, oh. Anyway, a two-headed ice axe. Two axe. Thank you. Oh, good. Wow. Isn't that interesting, Jeff? What do you think about donkey work? Donkey work means collected writing. I recently went on an auction of rare donkey work, and the... <laughs> yeah. Woo! And it was a tough day. <laughs> the authors and the prices varied widely. The guy next to me spent $10,000 on the collected writings of Poe. Well, once I spent $1.50 on the collected writings of Mo, Howard. Why, you idiot, I want to Collected writing. <laughs> collected writing. Well, it is a, an interesting word, isn't it, Norm? That's very clever what they said. Uh -huh. But that's not what donkey work means. Donkey work means hard, toilsome labor. Labor. It's also an expression used by Russian locksmiths. When you have a problem with a key, you call the locksmith. 
to say, can't open door. And the locksmith would say, what's the matter? Don't keep up? Hard, close, and lay up. That's what it means. Paul, are the Gordon, you asked for it, pal. Donkey work. Does it mean hard, toilsome labor? <laughs> donkey work? Does it mean two-headed ice axe? Or does donkey work mean uh, collected writing? In spite of the joke, I'd have to go with Norm. I think it means hard, toilsome labor. In spite of the joke? That was not a joke. This man gives oh, you history. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right. Donkey work, does it mean hard, toilsome labor? Yes, you did it. You did it. <laughs> And behind Donkey Work, we see it's worth one hundred dollars in connected to one twenty-five. For this time, we have two hundred twenty-five dollars to your score for a total of four hundred seventy-five dollars. Well, now, well, now, Caroline, we have here an interesting situation. We have four words left up there, lots of money amounts up there, and also the trip to Acapulco. What's your choice? I'm gonna go with Prelex. Prelex is the bonus word. That can win for you a trip to Acapulco, and that's a lovely trip. And for Prelex, we go with you, Jeff Hoffman. Well, Prelex <clears throat> means to whine, like that famous private eye, Mike Yammer, created by Nikki Complain. Mike would say things like, I'm tired of being a detective. There just aren't enough clues. Why do I have to wear this silly hat? <laughs> whine, whine, I do. All right. Uh, Norm, prelect. Prelect! Prelect means to lecture. Hmm. My dad used to lecture me all the time. I will never forget, in a moment of confidence, he once said to me, Norm, he called me Norm. Ah. <laughs> he said, you can lead a horse to water, but before you push him in, try to remember what a wet horse smells like. <laughs> <laughs> It means Prelector. Prelector. All right. Uh, the wisdom runs in the family. I know that. Yeah. Tell me, Prelector. Prelector is a running mate. You know, I heard that Pat Robertson has asked Big Bird to be his vice presidential candidate. I guess they'll be running on a wing and a prayer. Oh. <laughs> a running mate. A running mate. All right. Caroline, for a trip to Acapulco. Prelect is the word. Does it mean to lecture? Does prelect mean running mate? Or does it mean whine? I'm going to go with Thelma and running mate. You are. Does she go to Acapulco with running mate? She does not. The trip <laughs> is out the window, and it means that Gordon remains our champion. Yes, she does. That's automatic. We have $475. He remains the champ. Now, audience, it's your turn. You get to play our game. Prelect is the word. How many of you with applause uh, only think it means to lecture? Okay. How many of you think it means wine? Prelect. I think more of you said wine. Is that right? It is wrong. So all of you who applauded on this were absolutely right. Norm did it again. Prelect. And we had to say goodbye to Caroline Desario from uh, lovely Ventura, California, but we enjoyed having you on, and we wish you the very best of luck in your Thank forthcoming you. new venture. I okay. Now, Gordon Taylor, come on over here. It's the second day to win. He has won so far $8,475, plus what he won today. And in a moment, he's going to have a chance at an additional $5,000. So don't you go away. We'll see how well he does. Step on down. Aren't you glad you need to dial? How are you doing there, Romeo? Don't you wish everybody did? Would you be glad to be alone? The fiber in Kellogg's Mini Wheats helps keep me flying right, but it's the delicious frosting that fuels my youthful appetite. Uh, small problem. The spread of wheat nutrition gives me that drive, but the kid in me loves to tackle the tasty side. Kellogg's Mini Wheats. Red wheat nutrition for the adult in you. Delicious taste for that part of you that'll never grow up. The fiber in mini wheats gives me a great start. When it comes to the great taste, I'm just a kid at heart. I'll have what she's having. <laughs> you think it's easy being a carpet? Don Rickles has new Anso 5 worry-free carpet. <gasps> nice, doggy. 
Can you believe this? Oh, uh, here comes the kid. Uh, Shoot, I knew it had to be chocolate. But not a lady, another bad year for Bordeaux. <laughs> Don't worry. With a little cleaning, oh, that feels good. I'll still be gorgeous. Revolutionary Anso 5 Worry-Free. The carpet that can really take it. Okay, you hockey puck. I'm ready for anything. Do <laughs> some of this, do some of that. A little bit of this and a whole lot of that. Give along a little bit of butter. Pure, fresh, natural dairy butter. It has the same calories as most other spreads. Just 36 per pack. Give along a little bit of butter. What would Trash Man, a Dapper Dan, a Dreamy Writer, and a Steven Fighter all have in common? They all have a crush on Molly Dog. Cute as heck. Thursday after Cheers. If you're going to be in the Los Angeles area and would like to be a member of our studio audience, send a self-addressed stamp envelope to NBC Tickets, 3000 West Alameda Avenue, Burbank, California, 91523. Once again, Tom Kennedy. All right, Jordan, you're going to have a chance now at $5,000. All you have to do, all you have to do, what you have to do is to get from the left side of that board to the right side. Each of these boxes has two definitions of a single word. If you get that word right, you get the box. And if you get from the left side to the right side by connecting boxes, in 45 seconds or less, you will win the five thousand dollars. We set. I'm set. <laughs> All right. Let's put 45 seconds on the clock, and we'll start the clock with your first pick. Okay. Seven. Table support. Lead. Portion of journey. Go. Eight. Woman servant. Bride's attendant. Maid. Nine. Okay. Complete power failure to lose consciousness. Um, outed. Um, uh, blackout. Yes. Ten. Lunch or dinner, ground up grain. Uh, meal. Uh -huh. Eleven. U.S. Leatherneck pertaining to sea. Marine. And twelve. Something, remember something, car defect notice. Uh, uh, recall. You did it. You just won. We'll be right back. We love visiting America. Hot dog. Fried chicken. Pizza. But we're glad you have kale pectate. Kale pectate. Nothing relieves diarrhea and calm cramps faster than kale pectate tablet formula. The diarrhea especially. Today I got my driver's license. My dad took me down for my driving test in our brand new car. He spent hours showing me how to park. So I got my license, and I drove it straight home, straight into the garage wall. Wham! <laughs> the car was a little bent out of shape. Daddy was plenty bent out of shape. But somehow I got up the nurse to ask for the car that same night. Daddy didn't say a word. He just handed me the keys. Daddy is still the bravest man I ever met. Father's Day is June 21st. You'll find just the right card at Hallmark. The place to go when you care enough to send the very best. Gordon Taylor is our current champ. It's the second day to win. He has another day to go. Now, every day he is here, you understand, he has to take work off from his bus driving position up there in Seattle. So let's see if it's paid off for you. You won 475 in the game today. And five thousand dollars in this round for a total of five four seven five. And that's a two day total of thirteen thousand nine hundred fifty. Yeah, Does that yeah, cover it? Yeah, that, that's covered. Okay. Yeah, that's covered. <laughs> Enough to get you back yeah, for another day. Okay. You'll be back tomorrow. We'll look for you. See you then. Bye bye. Today's runner up on World Play Yoga Seed, Emerson's Deluxe Full Size Programmable Oven with 11 different power levels and two phase timer, features a turntable for easy, consistent cooking in the frosting. A fine product furnished by Emerson. And Hamburger Helper. It turns plain hamburger into a hearty, delicious meal your family will love. Hamburger Helper helps you make a great meal. And you great litter fresh. Pack lovers will love the way new litter fresh works to eliminate litter box odors. And sodium free roll aid sells more than 100% relief for acid indigestion. It also sells extra calcium. Calcium rich sodium free roll aids use as directed. Plus, fast effective Q-Tex product remover. It actually locks in moisture so your nails get stronger every time you use it. For wordplay, this is Charlie O'Donnell speaking. Tonight on Matlock, a killer's on the loose. A doctor's in frame. Can a solution be found? Andy Griffith is on the case in Matlock. Then, don't miss the stunning conclusion of deception. 
I've done it for Shane. She played lives for a week. And destiny forever. One will live, one will die. Who will survive the ultimate deception? Stephanie Powers stars in the explosive conclusion of deception tonight on NBC. <laughs> This week on Days of Our Lives. A full blue staff. She's losing pressure rapidly, Doctor. A gunman shatters a life and a dream. Come on, don't you leave me. We finally have a chance to be together. Don't you leave me now, okay? Please, God. Will Mike's prayers be enough to save Robin? Please let her live. This week. TV guide is.